This thing is absolutely loaded with them. Oh my gosh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're buying bees today. Know nothing about it, but you know what I felt like? I like honey, and I feel like beekeeping would be kind of sick, Main, mainly because you can wear the suit. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Not getting stung. Only John. John's the only one that's going to get stung. I'm a unit. I can take it. Which one would you want to look at? Uh, you tell me. I mean, like, what's, uh, the best what, honey yeah, what, and what's the easiest? Oh, oh yeah. This one's not full full. We've got some that are, you know, way further along than this. So. so how many bees are typically in one of those? Well, there's three frames there. So three frames about represents about 10,000 bees. Wow. Three, three frames to 10,000. Okay. Oh yeah, they're already, oh wow. Oh wow, Okay. Got cat brood. So they're like ready to rock and roll then. Yeah, they're going. Yeah. Hey, you tell the queens in there, basically you're seeing cat brood. Little eggs tells you for sure. And which which breed is this one? This is a carnival one. So now we're looking at the Italians. There's a bunch of different breeds of bees. I know nothing about any of this stuff. Italians are a little more golden, but then you can get you can get you know other ones too that are different colors. But um, okay, queen's kind of hard to find once you go through here and really look close. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I don't want to disturb them too much today, but she's in there. She's got little eggs. Oh, yep. Okay. You can see little eggs down the bottom. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. No, you can do different ones. You want to be? You can always you do one of each. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. It's up to you. I think that's a good idea. See which one does better or whatever. Yeah, so. let's just do one of each. How does it feel to hold a, like a thousand bees? Don't drop it. They're gonna kill you. John gets gets a passenger. Well, you ever spend thirteen hundred dollars on something you know nothing about, dude? The thing is, like, I feel like these are really easy to kill. Like, I gotta be careful. I gotta like, I gotta like pay attention. You... All right, well, we got everything loaded up. Heading to the farm now. We gotta get everything set. We bought suits. I didn't realize like they could kill you. He said like if, as soon as like one stings, it leaves like a smell of the venom, and then they all attack you. Gotta... But essentially, if one just starts stinging you, you're pretty much gonna die. He said you'll end up in the hospital. So uh, we're gonna hope that doesn't happen. Hopefully, the tape stays on the little entry thing and we got to get us all these hives set up uh, we got a lot of them and uh, hopefully we'll be producing honey here soon let's go to the farm and uh, try to get these all set up you guys stay tuned yes screw that on we did buy some honey we got to see what we're getting into so this is uh this is straight from the bee's nipple <laughs> the bear's nipple oh it's the bear's <laughs> nipple let's see oh bro that tastes really good is that not the greatest oh. Dude, straight from the tit. That was worth the two hour drive. That was so worth it. He said that we might make 100 to 200 pounds of that. Yeah. Dude, straight from the tit, get it. Is that not the greatest thing you've ever oh, put in your man. mouth? Mm. We're gonna have unlimited amounts of that. Woo, finally. Made it to the farm, folks. That was way too much freaking driving. We drove two hours to the place, two hours to the farm. We still gotta go two hours home. Ish. So a lot of driving today, but we got the bees. The bees are here. Can you hear them? I don't know if you guys can hear those, but the bees rode in the back. John, you didn't die. Didn't die. That's good. Kind of a bumpy ride. So I think we're gonna try to play it safe. Let them relax for a little bit. Like maybe even give them like a couple hours, like an hour or two to just chill. I mean, there's plenty of, we got plenty of chores to do on the farm. A lot of stuff we need to go check on. Um, so we're gonna let them kind of relax a little bit. That way when we open it up, they don't just absolutely just destroy us and kill us or leave or do any of those things. We were. There's a lot going on here. As this video goes on, I'll explain a lot more. I know nothing about beekeeping. Um, the individual that we purchased these from helped us and kind of gave us a bunch of tips and tricks. And we bought a bunch of stuff. I spent a lot of money, but I think it'll be worth it. I love honey, and I feel like uh, I feel like it'd be worth it to be a beekeeper. Bonzo, you've always wanted to be a beekeeper, huh? It's been a lifelong dream. I'm making happen. it happen. Yeah. So. Bonzo's a beekeeper. We've got one full suit and then two jackets. Cause as long as you're wearing like pants and boots, you'll be good. We got a bunch of gloves. So yeah, we're pretty much ready to go, but like I said, we're gonna let these things chill. We'll probably go where we need to go first. Oh, the pigs. We gotta go check on the pigs. Oh, they're cuddling. Oh, what's up little oinkers? They are, they're staying warm. It's kind of chilly out today. What's up? Where's that other one? Wonder if I, he might be in, don't scare him. They're, they're sleeping. He might be in there. Man, they're sleeping, man. Respect. Just one chilling in there. Hey buddy. I don't want to wake you up. I just want to come pet you. Oh, What's up, Cardi P? Cardi P, how's it going, huh? What's up, buddy? 
Look, he just yawned. Yeah. Are you sleepy? You just, yeah. oh, you're okay. You're fine. Relax. I don't have any freaking marshmallows. What's up, big guy, huh? How are you? Oh, hi. Do you come, do you wake up? Hey, chill, chill, chill. Just, nope, you don't, you guys don't, nope, nope, nope. Oh. Stay, okay. I'm Cardi sorry. B. Cardi, you're waking up the herd. Now, look what you've done. All right, well, you guys hey, get your chill. after, after nap <laughs> drink. Eat more, like, things to drink out of. What are the other guys doing? Oh, these guys are awake. What's up, buddy? What's going on, dude? Cheese and rice, dude. Bad dude, these are huge. You guys stink, bro. Let me put you. Hey. Hey, guys. How's it going? You never get any attention. How are you doing? You, you guys are doing big things over here. Dude, everybody just woke up from a nap. I want a nap now. I say I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of with them. I feel like I should just get in that little cubby of theirs and just take a snooze. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're leaving. Cardi, keep doing Cardi things. How would he eat the food out of your hand when he could just eat it right there? He is. Watch, he is. He's definitely eating your thumb. All right, you guys take care. Okay, Have a good one. All right, well, checked on the pigs. Pigs are doing swell. Um, what else we got? Oh, we got the cows, dude. So we did the, you guys saw the cow nut catch and cook. Hmm, that's probably not good. We haven't seen the cows since. Yeah, it's the, I, I know, I know they're not cow nuts. They're bull nuts, I get it. But cow is like a generic term. Like people that don't live on a farm or don't know anything about farming think everything is a cow. So I'm trying to appeal to you guys, okay? That's that's what I'm saying. Uh oh. Okay, well, pause, time out. The warthog died. Maybe the lights got left on or something, I'm not sure. That's the first time we actually have had it die. But we're gonna have the old jumpers, get it going here soon. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. That's nice. What's up guys? How we doing? You guys forgive us for what we did to you uh, last week? They don't look very understanding. Yeah, there's a new calf somewhere. I don't know if he, if the calf's here. We might wanna, let's go check on- uh, The pet one. Yeah, Buddy, we'll go check on Buddy. But Jake was saying that a new calf hit the ground like two days ago. I don't know if, it, he didn't say if it was a boy or a girl. We may have to do the old nut ka -chow again. Let's go check on Buddy. Okay, oh, so man. the mom, so a cow birthed a calf and uh, it was a girl girl calf but the mom has something wrong with her she jake thinks she ate like a piece of wire like sometimes it can get mixed up with hay bales and stuff the, the mom is not healthy enough to actually feed the calf so jake has to bottle feed it twice a day he has to wake up at 3 a.m come out here and feed it, and then feed it in the evening um and he keeps that one separate so we're gonna see if she's still in there that was the one that we kind of like tackled down to the ground and held her down she's she's chill she's super nice she sucks on your finger which is pleasant Jesus Christ. Yep. Yep. Dude, cows are like dogs. You ever see you ever see that? What's up, 102? We've done big things for you. We gave you shots, we put the purple thing in your ear. Yep, yep. Yep, she knows that's not a bottle. Okay, 102, good seeing you. Keep doing 102 things. But we need you guys to name her. She's such a little cutie. Look at her. She's not just a little adorable. We need to name that, because that's kind of like the, pretty much like the only pet cow. The other cows, you know, they're not big fans of us, especially after we took the knife to them. But this one, we've been only but nice. She's going to be the pet cow for the farm. So comment down below, what should we name this guy? Girl, gal, we need a name for 102. She's a cutie. <laughs> All right, well, made it to the Brute Baker. We had to go check on this. That's not good. The, uh, the little green specky things, yeah, that's what killed off this pond and left it with only green sunfish. That's what the biologist told us. Yeah, it's smaller than duckweed. Whatever smaller than duckweed. Duckweed's not that bad, I don't think. It's the other stuff. Yeah, we'll have to look it up. But either way, that's basically when like the pond gets covered with it, that's when the, the, the basket could trout. We don't want that. We gotta, we gotta make sure that doesn't happen. So we had to come down here and check on it and well, it's confirmed. It's here. I say we probably need to get that chemical to treat. Well, those aren't happy about it. Those are not happy about us being here. But what I was saying is there's chemicals that you can dump in here to get rid of that, um, which will save the pond. Basically, it's like, I would call it a summer kill. It's too much vegetation. Um, that's what happened to this pond based on the biologist that came out here and did all the surveying and stuff. So we had to come check on it before we, before we kept going back down to the farm just to make sure that, yep, we do need to go buy some chemicals. Hey, how's it going? Time, that was crazy. Yeah, I looked at one time and it was like still 6,000 to go. Would you just calm down? What did you buy? I have no idea. Two pheasants or something? No, no. Chickens? Smaller than a chicken. And they're birds? No, no they're not they birds, fly. but they fly. <laughs> hey, I bought, I bought a bunch of honeybees. 
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna harvest honey. Really? <laughs> yeah. Bro, you can see them through these holes, so now I'm scared. I think they're just gonna come out and murk us. We better get suited up. Yeah, I got the full pants suit. I'm not taking any risks around here, boys. Like, you're gonna go to like puff, and they're just gonna go right. Like, I don't know. They're gonna they're gonna kill you somehow. Squad up, boys. Now we're strapped. There's zero way for them to get in here. Sheesh, boys. I, I, like, I'm, I'm good. Dude, we need to take these like camping. You never get bit by mosquitoes. Yeah. Okay, we're suited up, boys. Plenty of room. So we bought a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully, guys, I can teach you guys something about beekeeping. If you guys know anything I don't about beekeeping, let me know. Because there's probably a lot you know. So, so we got the smoker. That's, that's key. Smoker with some burlap. That's going to be the fuel. Basically, what you do is you, you, you can puff some smoke and it calms them down. Actually, I don't think it calms them down. I think that's a myth. It's, it makes their venom not smell. Because if like the smell of their venom gets out, then everybody just wants to go sting everything. Um, that's what the beekeeper said, at least. So that thing will just basically calm them down-ish, slash just make them not kill you. And we've got this. This is some liquid honey bee feed. Basically, it's just sugar water, which we're going to mix our own. But for today's purposes, we bought just a couple of jugs just to keep it easy. And then we got to put, you uh, as we're doing it, we'll kind of talk more a little bit about it. Um, but that's their feed. When it's cold like this, it's not beekeeping season or it's not harvesting honey season, which is June coming up soon. Um, you got to feed them on this stuff to keep them alive because they're not doing all the pollination quite yet. Yeah, that's, that's move the files. And then this is to prevent so disease. Not so these, yeah, these, these will go in the files. This prevents from, uh, it's kind of like a tick. The bees can get ticks, which kind of can chow them. So we'll have to put those in too. So, and we've got a bee brush. Yeah, this is for, for when petting. we're trying to get the honey. Yeah, for petting. Uh, it it makes the them feel honey. really good. And if you convince them that you're friendly, they won't sting you. So right now we've got two hives kind of set up. We're adding sugar water. These are the feeders, these little black things. Basically you keep them on this, what do you say for until June maybe? Or you said a couple weeks? Or these run out every week. We check on them every week basically. These are the feeders, um, fill them, we're gonna fill them both up. Throw, we gotta still put the bees in here. So we're starting off with five. These are, um, we're gonna call them screens. There's five screens in each and then we're gonna take five screens and add. So you take one of the nukes that we bought, put them in here, one of the other nukes, put them in here. Have them all sit in here. And we'll put the lids on them and you let them do their thing for a little bit. Um, but you just got to make sure that they've got plenty of sugar water. This is where the fun begins. Now it's, how, we got to get the bees in this thing without pissing them off and dying. Yeah, this is not going to go well. I know our luck. It ain't going to go well. Who's going to get bit first? John. <laughs> Don't drop it. Just do one at a time. You yep. get your smoker ready though. I'm not trying to die. If I told you I'm nervous, it'd be an understatement. I don't like bees. I think I've only been stung like one time. I, feel like this is, I mean, I think we can't get stung, but I feel like they'd find a way. Is it still going? Did you see a flame? You gotta like let it rip for a bit, I think. Alright folks, moment of truth. You got the smoke ready? Catch these hands, bees. Oh, mm -hmm. oh they're calm. It's not bad. There's a lot of them, dude. Okay, does it matter which one I grab? Can't crush the queen. I don't know where the queen is. She's probably in the middle. Can't crush her. Just go right here with it. All right, one down. Oh my God, look how many dead ones are down there. Sheesh. Look at them. Look at them starting to get the get the honey figured out here. All right, boys, watch yourself. Oh God, this is the one that's gonna get interesting. Yeah, my smoke's oh God. Oh my gosh, do you see that? What are they doing? Am I supposed to pull them apart? What are they doing? Look at them. Like I feel like if I pull them apart, what if like the queen's in there and I kill her? Here. All right, we're just gonna have to go for it, boys. Did it rip it apart? Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're for sure trying to sting me right now. You might want to puff some smoke in there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. 
I bet the queen's somewhere chilling in that thing. Dude, so far they're staying really calm. Again, I mean, I don't know. There we go. All right, so we need to add the strip, eh? So these are to control the, basically what they look like is, t they look like ticks. Controls them, prevents, prevent, what's that, mites? Yeah, I think they're mites. Prevents them from uh, getting onto the bees. And this thing sticks out, right, like that? Okay, and then put this piece on. I guess it's all together, right? There you go. Put the lid on. One down, son. So, this is what they do. There's obviously still some bees murking. That's the hole right there that they have to figure out how to use. And uh, as the warmer months happen, you make the hole bigger, you can flip it around and make the hole bigger. But one down, we didn't get stung. We're doing good. I feel like that went actually fairly well. We didn't even have to use much smoke at all. Let's get the other box in there and hopefully it goes just as well. All right, hopefully they're chilling. They seem a little bit more agitated. They're a little bit louder. We're not bad, like we're doing okay. First slide. Oh yeah, look at them. They're freaking killing it. Okay, that's good, she's in the middle, she'll be safe. Yeah. This thing is absolutely loaded with them. I think the other one had more dead ones. Yeah, this one. Oh my, oh my gosh. Look how much honeycomb's on that. Bro, we're about to have honey real quick here. Sheesh. Look at the dangling. Dude, are they giving it a dangle right you now? See that at the bottom? Dude, there's way less dead ones in this one. The other one's yeah. got kachowed. Dude, way more in this one. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Hundreds. Yeah. There's a lot of them. That one have many on your side? Yeah. Oh wow. It's for dude. This had way more bees. Oof. Oh, now they're pissed. They're definitely gonna come kill me now. Alright, so we need to get the lid on. There we go. Two down, two hives. So the deal is actually, this, this won't produce any honey. So we check this once a week. Once all those, the files are full of like honeycomb and bees and whatever, then you add another box and you keep stacking. And it's the third, third and, fourth. and fourth box that have the honey. These are just used to make bees, right? Yeah, like reproduce more, yeah. bees so and like the eggs have the there. eggs. Yeah, the, the eggs and the queen and like reproductive. Reproductive stuff goes on here for the next probably month or so. Once June hits, I think we'll be, we'll be eating some honey. It'll be good. All right, we got the bees situated down yonder. Taken care of, we got two hives ripping. So you guys can tell this is by this is by the old house, the house that I bought that uh, we'll need to take down, tear down. Um, we, we, we were thinking, we're like, should we put the bees this close to this house if we're gonna be working on construction? But honestly, we have no other places that we can put them um, because Kyle's dad is allergic to bees. Um, so we wanted to keep it as far away from the farm as possible. Plus Riggs is over there and we don't want Riggs getting in it. This is the only piece of property that Riggs can't get to and it's far enough away from the actual farm that you know, I would feel comfortable and I'd feel safe about, you know, maybe him him not getting stung. Hopefully it doesn't uh, hinder the process of restoring this house, tearing it down, burning it, or doing whatever. Quick update on the house. Still looks like garbage. Still looks not good. Not good in here. It looks like a tornado came through. So maybe we just need to tear this whole sucker down. I already had you guys comment in the video where I bought this, um, what, what, what I should do with it. But if you guys have any other ideas, you guys, if you guys want to, you guys can comment down below what um, what we should do with this. Everything else is still pretty, pretty stinking wet. The field, the property that I bought runs, I mean, you guys can't really tell from here, but it goes, it goes out probably 10 acres down yonder-ish. Maybe, maybe not quite 10 acres, maybe like five. Maybe that's like five acres. Still water, and then this, this all still looks great. So again, I'll probably tear all this down. I think I'll probably think about building the new house here. The shop still has water in it. And there's, there's a whole bunch. If you guys want to see more about this property here, you guys can just go check out the video that I posted about buying it. Um, but I just want to show you guys kind of relative to the house where we put the hives. Hopefully there's no conflict there. Hopefully we don't disturb them too much. Cause if we do, we'll get stung and we might die. Or that's starting to dry up. Literally the only piece of property that is just completely covered in like two feet of water is the property that I have, but it's okay. You know, I just look on the bright side. Look, this is dry. This, that's the bright side. This is dry. We can start construction on this very, very soon. I'm excited to have a new pad here, place to stay, place to sleep. It's gonna be good. If you guys enjoyed the bee video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any tips for beekeeping, let me know. Or maybe even YouTube channels that do this a lot and have really good tips. I mean, I try to research as much as I could. I try to ask as many questions as I could, but 
you just never know. Maybe I maybe I done goofed up, AA Ron, but put it right by the house. That there's gonna be construction, but again, we literally didn't have a choice, and we just figured that's gonna be the best bet. We'll just have to try to work around it, try to make it work. But again, if you guys like the beekeeping videos, when we keep doing them, making them maybe a weekly deal, bi-weekly deal, comment down below, and uh, I'll go ahead and do it. Without further ado, really do appreciate the view. Thanks for watching. Peace.